What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X and Y walkthrough. Or X walkthrough. I don't know, I keep on forgetting all that stuff. It's been a while, guys, sorry. So, in our last episode, we started the Looker events, and now it is time for us to move on into Chapter 2 of the Looker events. Now, if you walk away just a little bit from this alleyway right here, you'll soon get another message from Looker himself. As you can see, the Holocaster has pretty much turned on. And, well, homeboy here is like, Draven, it is I, Looker. I want you to go, uh, I want to talk to you about something important. Could you come to the Looker Bureau, please? Sure. I didn't even make a few uh, extra steps, and he's still just coming in. Anywho, let's go straight back to the Looker Bureau and see what good old Looker is talking about right now. So, let's see. There he is, waiting for us. Draven, you are here. You got my message to the Holocaster, in fact. Then I need three minutes only. It is, it is this. Um, I, yeah, I pressed the button real quickly, but I can count on your help, Draven. Let us uh, put our partnership to the test. My notes are on the desk. Take 30 seconds to read up in on the case. Okay, let's see what's uh, the next case. Looker's notebook, case open. Client, a rep from a Lumio mother's group. Details, kids in Lumio City seem to be spending a lot of time in black or back alleys recently. What are they up to in these uh, these shadowy, suspicious places? Inquiring mothers want, uh, want to know. My son is about to take the entrance exam for the elite school for a future ace trainers. I can't have him uh, do anything stupid and get back uh, get a black mark on his academic record. You must do something to make kids stop hanging out in those suspicious alleys. Reward enough dough for, to last for a week. Okay. Enough dough to last for a week. In the back alleys, chapter two, and well, let's go ahead and talk to Looker himself. He's like all red up and ready to go. Good. The first thing I want you to do is to visit those dark alleys in Lumioi City. Find where kids are hanging out and get the lowdown on the situation. Got it? Think you can handle it, partner? Sure. I am counting on you, Draven. There are a number of alleys here in Lumioi City. Somewhere in one of them, you'll, you should find those kids. Yes, yes, indeed. Hmm. My gut tells me there's something fishy about the alley leading up to South Boulevard. When you've got uh, got boiled hard, uh, hard as mine, it's worth paying attention to. Start your investigations on South Boulevard. I'll join you when I can. Oh, wait. Here's an idea. I need three seconds. To help you on your way, I'll jot down the locations of the alleys in my notebook. Okay. All right. And you got this, Draven. If you're not, off to the dark alleyways of Lumio City. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So one of the lo locations is South Boulevard beside the restaurant Lena. North Boulevard has or Gillette Stand, and North Boulevard Lumioi City Station beside the Cafe Triste. Okay, so it shouldn't be that hard, right? I hope so. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go straight to South Boulevard and see where we can actually find. And you know what? Let's do it the easy way. Let's think smarter, not harder. Let's go straight to the south portion of this whole area right here. And that, well, that's exactly where we're going to find these kids. Hopefully they won't want to battle us or anything like that. So here we go. Look at that. What's up? So now here we are in South Boulevard. And you're, you're going to be able to find a uh, Dark Galloway here somewhere. There's a professor's, uh, well, not office, but lab. It should be right here somewhere. Come on, where the heck are you? Let's see. Hopefully we don't pass it by or anything like that. So, we're going to be just going straight, straight, straight. And where in the bloody H-E double hockey sticks are these kids right here? There's an alleyway. It should be around here somewhere. Of course, good old Draven. He can get confused. And look at that. We are in the north. So, let's go all the way back and find that place. Uh, I believe it should be right here somewhere. All right, if we see a dark, dark alleyway, that's where the kids will be. Oh, damn. Okay, so let's see. Those are places we need to go. Ah, there it is, I think. No? Nope, that's not an alleyway. Oh, everything looks like a dark alleyway right here, guys. I am so sorry, but it has been a while since I've actually played this game and learning its locations and whatnot. So let's see. South. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at that. There is an alleyway right there. Is this the place? No, that's not an ar that's not an alleyway. It's not dark. And ah, oh, there we are. I think. 
right here yes so we go through this dark alleyway and we will find a few kids waiting for us now these kids will be inclined to battle you so let's go let's keep it as is right here and let's go ahead and battle these guys huh who are you this is our secret base you're a grown-up you're not allowed in well if you think you're coming in you're gonna have to be beat me in a battle okay alrighty so let's go oh wow you knew you you know these kids are small when have to swung and all that stuff okay so here comes a swine up looking uh well, I haven't seen a swine up in a while so let's go ahead and use our good old buddy Kakashi Hitake right here ready to kick some butt and let's go with a surf attack surf attack does it do, do it yes it does swine up no more really no more and well let's see Bonsley let's go ahead and uh, just continue on right here with Kakashi Hitake now this is a very very good place to actually get some more experience points for all your Pokemon it's not that big it's not a lot guys but it's still something I get it they should have added just a little bit more to this whole uh, you know looker event but it is what it is guys still wishing that they could have came out with Pokemon Z just to complete the whole uh, Zygarde thing but maybe, just maybe, hopefully in a future remake, they will. And, well, that is one down. We got to take on another one right here. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. You. What a wolf this little sister I have. You're going to have to fight me now. Last chance if you want to run away. Do you think you can beat me in a Pokemon battle? <laughs> yes, I can. And, well, I'm not going to read the whole text right here. I'm just going to have to just battle these people right here because, well, they're kids. And they do have a pre-evolution Pokemon right here, so it's not that big of a deal. So let's go straight for Kakashi Hitake again. Dark Poles. I think that's strong against fairy types. No, it's not. But it takes care of Eagly Buff. One, two, three. Look at that. Okay. And Preschooler Lily defeated. Let's move on. Uh, this trainer's got some muscle in his hustle. It's a rhyme right there. Okay, so you there, you're not too shabby, but can you beat me? Bring it if you got the guts. Sure, this is our private paradise. Take off, uh, take off, and leave us in peace. Nah, I think I need to beat you guys. I really do. And well, we got schoolgirl Callie wanting to battle us, and now she's stepping it up on the competition, bringing out a Rapidash. And well, my good old buddy Kakashi Hitake has got no issue with this right here. So let's go with the Surf Attack. Surf Attack does its thing. There goes Rapidash. Holy crud. Rapidash has been defeated. And, well, Le Levani is coming out. So let's go ahead and go with Godzilla number three. Let's get this. And I know many of you guys are expecting this, but Godzilla, Godzilla. There it is. So Levani coming out, looking all mean and everything. Strong a hell. But guess what? I got Flare Blitz ready to take you down. So here we go. Flare Blitz for the win. Quadruple damage. No more Livani. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Godzilla hitting with the recoil, but that's fine. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Kingler. So let's go straight to Fluff Volt. Fluff Volt ready to go. Fluff Volt ready. And it's about to grow another level right here. But here comes a Kingler. One of the Pokemon that's always fascinated me, Kingler. So let's go with a Discharge attack right here. And look at that. Discharge does its thing. No more Kingler. No more Schoolgirl. And say hello to level 74 for all of us right there. Look at that. And, well, Kelly has been defeated. Yeah, you just can't win, homie. So who's next? Huh. <laughs> I guess you're sort of strong. Fine, then. I'll let you continue. Thank you. And here we have the last one. What, what, what do I do now? You you, you really want to get in here, huh? Yes. Of course you do. So I figure I have to battle you. Okay, well, we have to battle you. So here we go with the schoolboy. His name is Macon. Rhymes with Bacon, and he's coming out with a pretty strong Pokemon in Spirit Tomb right here. And, well, Kakashi attack you ready to go. Taking, Ready to take some... Uh, Ready to kick some ass, take some names right here. Now, Spirit Tomb, it's invulnerable, or it's just, you know, it's strong against everything. It doesn't really have a weakness, and, well, there it is. 
not so effective, but here comes a Surf Attack, and look at that, Spirit Tomb nearly gets defeated. Let's go with a, let's go with a uh, Ice Beam. It is still faster than us, and well, here we go. Ice Beam for the win. Say goodbye to Spirit Tomb, and there we go. No more Spirit Tomb. Schoolboy making that rhymes with bacon. He knew this would end up like this. Even though he had a pretty good rare Pokemon right there. Ugh, I figured I'd lose anyways. Now it's up to Mimi to save us. And well, once we get up over here, Looker is just like, Pardon, pardon! It took uh, it took a while to find you. How's the investigation going, Draven? Do you have news to report? Wow! Holy crap. Oh, did you hear that cry? I feel like it came from deeper inside the alley. Mwah! And, whoa, look at this. Why, it's a Pokemon. But to threaten humans like that, it is apparently none too gentle. It may consider this area its territory. Yep, old man, you got that right. Uh, who's there? Show yourself. Oh, damn. Oh, nobody special. But this little sweetie right here is Mimi. That's what I named it, anyway. Mwah, mwah! <laughs> Then this is your Pokemon. In which case, would you mind returning it to its Pokeball for a bit? <laughs> huh? What? What Pokeball? Pardon? I'm not a trainer. Mimi is my friend. I have no money to buy Pokeballs, so I can't be a trainer. You get it? Anyway, Mimi and I don't need a Pokeball to be friends. Of course, I get it. P please forgive my error. My name is Looker. I work as a detective. May I introduce my partner, Draven? If you will permit me to ask Mimi's friend, I am interested in what you are doing uh, here. Well, we're all plain, that's all. Everyone here is a friend of mine. What are you What are you asking for? Do you want me to join something? What? No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is our secret uh, base. Kids only. No grown-ups allowed. Mwah! Oh, put a sock in it. Please, play nice, both of you. How would you like to get left out just because you're old and stuff? Well, you seem to have a good group of friends playing uh, together here. But why did you pick a dark alley like this one to play in? Lumio City is filled with plazas and open spaces and sunny corners. Flowers can't bloom without sunshine and neither young folks, you know. Oh, really? Well, Mimi and I have always lived in alleys, so I don't know much about sunshine. Whoop! You live in an alley? You and Mimi? And your family, they... They're gone. I'm alone. I see. Well, but... But Mimi is sort of my family. We stick together. Indeed. Hmm. What's going on here? I look here, I just struck upon an idea. A genius idea, and here it is. Friend of Mimi, I invite you to stay at the office of Looker Bureau. You may work as my assistant, and in exchange, I will make... I, will, I may live in the office. I myself live elsewhere in a hotel, so you'll have it all to yourself after hours. What? It is not to imply that anything's wrong with a free life in alleys, but to have a home to shelter you from the cold and the rain? There is joy in having work to do each day, and your efforts seem to have been appreciated. This, uh, this idea is genius even for me. And Mimi, are you on board too? It wouldn't be the same without you. Mwah! Oh, it doesn't look like it... Oh, wow, it doesn't look like it wants to. What, what? Why did Mimi run off? Mimi gets scared pretty easy. Afraid of humans, I guess. Especially grown-ups. Hey, Mr. Looker Guy. For a minute there, I was kind of happy that you invited me to stay with you. You're pretty cool, but I can't. Mimi likes it better here. I can't leave Mimi behind. We stick together. Hold on. Mimi may grow up to like me in time. But even if not, we can try a new angle. At... A time like this, it helps to have a partner that you can count on. Partner? Indeed, Draven! Your assignment is to befriend Mimi. You can do it, or you can do it! Okay, so I think the next place... Okay, so the next place we're probably going to have to go to is another alley. And, well, let's see. Mimi accept me as well. After all, I'm counting on you. Let's talk to her. Uh, Draven, if you want to make friends with Mimi, you're going to have to track it down first. There's, like, tons of alleys in Lumio City. Mimi wanders all over it and strolls. If you can find it, try and talk to it or do something that to make Mimi like you. Okay, so let's see. We've already uncovered the southern region of this whole this whole thing. Now I guess we're gonna have to go to the northern part. 
And of course, we're gonna get a message on the Holocaster. And Draven, I have received a tip from children. I judge it most important, and it may be of use to you. Mimi apparently doesn't like being petted by strangers. It is imperative that you check it down where uh, check down the alleys where Mimi is known to stroll around. To be precise, across the Galid Stand, across the Lumioi Station, right next to the Cafe Triste. The entrances of, to these alleys are all found in North Boulevard. Au revoir and out. I wish you luck. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go straight to the northern region right here. And see if we can actually find this Mimi character. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. And he did say the no the stand on the northern section right here. So, if you go to the stand, I believe it's... I think it's right next to Professor Sycamore's place right here. Alright, so here's North Boulevard. So, we got to find the stand somewhere. It should be right here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So, look at that. We're in... Uh, our skates and let's see should be right here somewhere where the heck are you Mimi there is a st well there's a fucking place right here and look at this okay so alleys would you look at them okay so here we are into the northern area and well there's a shadowy region right here and well there's nothing you could find except oh there it is more and more Mimi's looking at you. What are you going to do? Let's see. It doesn't like being petted. So let's go ahead and sing. And I guess it liked it. It ran off somewhere with a hint of a smile. So I think the next place we're going to have to be looking at is... Well, let's see. It's still in the northern section right here. So now what we got to do is right next to, I believe, the train station. We're going to have to look for this guy. So let's see. Um, train station. So, if we go a little further beyond this place right here, we'll be able to find Mimi. Where the heck are you, Mimi? Oh, look at this. Right here? Look at that. Okay, so hopefully it's going to be right here somewhere. And get off our skates. There she is. And this guy right here is going to be like, more, more. Looking at you, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and dance. And Mimi is just loving it. More, more, more. And, of course, it likes us. And it accepts us as a friend. And look at that. One more. Yep, it's definitely liking us. Oh, Draven, well done. Mimi seems to have taken a shine to you. Awesome. Draven, are you wicked or what? How do you get Mimi to like you so fast? Oh, well, I sang. And then I danced. But in real life, you wouldn't like that. Except for probably the singing. Thank you, Draven. You have proven your work as my partner. Well, friend Mimi, problem solved. All set. It is uh, time to. It is time for you to graduate from the life of the streets to join the Looker Bureau as my assistant. Okay, I'm ready. As long as Mimi's with me, I'm pretty. I'm pretty curious to find out what the detective does. <laughs> a detective is a hardball kind of person. Draven, let us make our way to the Looker Bureau with our new assistant. Okay. So just like that, she is loving the whole place. She's like, wow. So this is the Looker Bureau. It is sure warmer than the alley. This is going to be great, huh, Mimi? Mwah. Please make yourself comfortable. From today on, you will be, you will work on, a, you will work here as my assistant. And you may live here as well as long as you choose. I seem to have forgotten my manners. Pardon me for not asking your name. What do you, you prefer to go by? Or shall we stick with friend of Mimi? Who, me? I'm just Emma. Nice to meet you. Emma, is it? Indeed a pretty name. <clears throat> the case of the kids in the alley is now closed. With Emma staying here instead, kids will stop making the alleys their second home. Draven, I will send you a message on the Holocaster for the next time we get a case. I look forward to it indeed. Okay, so that is the end of that right there. But something's happening right here. Emma and Mimi. I was absolutely right to invite them to stay here. Truly genius, no doubt. What I don't know is if enough work will appear to keep food on our table. I, I guess I'll roll up my sleeves and concentrate on my mission. This is what it, this is what it means to be a hard-boiled detective. Hmm. 
Kind of foreshadowing what's going to happen next right here. And, well, just like that, episode two of the Looker events has come to a conclusion right here, guys. So, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going through part three of this, uh, the last few episodes of Pokemon X. And, uh, well, hopefully it's going to be a fun one right here. It's going to be fun-filled and battling and all that stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.